We're here this week because um, Wonderfuls has established a youth board as part of our project Positive Stories for Negative Times. Positive Stories for Negative Times is an international participatory project. Um, um, at the start of the pandemic two years ago when we thought about the lack of space and the lack of creative uh, activity for young people. We designed Positive Stories for Negative Times. The first year we ran it, the second year we got an amazing group of 22 young people to design and run the second season. We've been dramaturging lots of plays together and we are performing and rehearsing Revolting by Bryony Kimmings. We have been working for over a year now online and this is the first time in all that time that we've met in real life in person. Just as it appears that my mission may have been compromised, the worst thing I've ever done is work in this. Sure, I suck at my mission, so I am. Let's see if I went wrong enough for me. I can't write it. I can't write it. I can't write it. I can't write it. What makes Revolting by Bryony Kimmings unique is that it is a kind of devising guide. So it's not a play by a playwright, but Revolting is actually a kind of process that has been provided for us by Bryony, which is about um, revolting and about what we are angry about um, in the world right now and what also makes us hopeful. Revolting is chewing gum in questionable states of solidity on school desk the tables. The floor of a swimming pool changing. Transphobia. Or oh, when the cold tea bag at the bottom of the cup hits you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Revolting is being the first to say something. Revolting is arguing with your racist uncle at Christmas. Or your homophobic grandparents. Revolting is knowing when to stand up for what's right. So this week it's basically all about just uh, start on the Monday, uh, see what everything we've got, everything we've made over the last three months, make any gaps in material um, that we've got. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just been like, just piecing it all together, basically. That through, is that whole thing through. See what happens. See yeah, what it felt doing. like really on Monday, like on the first day, we were really starting from, from scratch, like coming in and everybody was just kind of like, like, I've no idea what we're about to do. I wrote like a really silly, like monologue, like um, kind of like in the character of a spy trying to yeah. carry out this secret operation in the five minutes before midnight, because I really need to share something hours. that day. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. nice one, Lucy. That really works there, doesn't it? Really works there, that's great. Um, I like my piece because it sort of developed from we were all doing social experiments, so it's something that we've physically done and inspired by real um, events. So it's more of a persona of yourself rather than creating a whole new character, or for my one anyway. Today I didn't share anything. But if I could turn back time, I would. Share, it's really just gone from just one extreme to another. So after we did our 14 day experiment of sharing something, Robbie and Jack asked us to do a little writing activity. So then I was just thinking, I shared something for 14 days, I kept repeating in my head, and I was like, share? Share sounds very familiar. Oh, share the singer, share of course. And I was like, okay, how can I incorporate this? Me sing. I really don't think you're strong enough. No, you may be wondering. <laughs> in a way, so in the piece, I'm kind of like really dramatic, and I'm a really cuddly person anyway. So like clinging to Morn, I love being really close to people. But underneath that, I think especially the duologue that myself and Morn are doing, the bit that comes out is like actually. I am quite a nervous person and I, the way I present myself to people I don't necessarily know isn't that, you know, the bubbliness isn't necessarily true. I am a wee bit kind of reserved and um, apprehensive. Everyone's playing like an uh, exaggerated version of themselves. Um, I hope I hope it wouldn't be an exaggerated version of myself. Um, I wouldn't say I was someone who always, you know, can't compromise. Uh, revolting by Brian McCowan and share something for 14 days. Put your hand up now. What about the raven? I've even got a composer, guys, so I mean. Stop doing the raven! Oh, I'm he's here. So. How, did, how are you going to pay for him, Dan? I've saved up all my pocket money, so the guy, it's, it's, it's all sorted, we're all good.
There's an intrinsic value like in terms of um, young people's confidence and communication skills um, and you know just actually collaborating together and actually learning skills and creativity like I think no matter what job you work in you need creativity. For me personally like I've but I've actually managed to experience such an exciting like life, you know what I mean, due to like, a wee arse experience that I was afforded when I was younger. Um, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think we'll just take our same positions from the end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll see adjusting, for the, <laughs> adjusting for the table. None of us know what the final show is going to look like yet and it's in two days time so it's sort of not nerve wracking but you sort of have that doubt like oh well we have a show by then. We're in the main kind of space at the Traverse Theatre in Edinburgh um, and I think we're you know we're, we're hopefully going to sell out and that's a really large audience for this for this group of people and for us as well as a company. I feel quite apprehensive about like I'm not an improviser, I'm not an improver and especially when it's like big crowds of people I'm like more likely to just be like mm. like I'll just keep myself to myself so like when we're on stage like all together and all kind of trying to like chip in especially like kind of live doing it live conversing with like a crowd I don't know I find that quite scary. <laughs> or like if something happened in Manhattan and we're like kind of famous and stuff. <laughs> Performing has actually been kind of daunting and being like no this is something I can do and have been good at and enjoy. But um, yeah, trying to feel my way back into it has been, it's been interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, sorry, Dave. Why don't we think of that? Oh, we can still do it in the highlands. <laughs> I'm definitely nervous, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I'm not, because it's been a while, but it is really exciting to like, actually challenge myself and be back and perform. Sorry. No, 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 because we're holding Danny, Danny. Can we have Danny's cue line again, please? We've only got the young people for five days, right? So you have to do, have to do it in five days. Let's go back to positions, back to positions. No, no, no. Revolting is that smell of central spread state. I'll get that later. Day one. Today I shared... What did I share? <laughs> And that's a fucking good show as well. <laughs> hey, do you yeah, feel good? Yeah. You should be so fucking proud of yourselves. It's been an amazing four days. The scary bit for me is always like, you're in the tech and you're like, you need to do all the stuff that needs to be done and you've only got three, four hours. So yeah, that's going to be quite exciting. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you guys need to do before we start the tech? That, I love that feeling of, right, live event, I've got to do this, and at the end of the show you're just like, oh my god, I just did that. It's, it's a really, really awesome feeling and it's really hard to describe as well. I'm excited, I'm quite nervous, I feel like I'm going to forget something, but it's fine, because we made it up. Um, I haven't been on a stage in about four years before this week, so... I am a little bit nervous, quite nervous, um, but... I think, I think I'm okay. okay. Now you're coming is a play about a great why people are so scared with fellow Highlanders. I've missed out a bit. Performance behind the Highlanders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 You can feel it, you can taste it, you can see it. Uh, it feels that like everyone's like buzzing away. Everyone's like, ah, blah, 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 bouncing energy off each other. Like, take that onto the stage. Like, you know what I mean? Keep the ball in the air. These are all amazing. Like, literally, amazing. And I, it's been one of the most exciting rehearsal rooms I've ever got to work in. Like, over, over a short five-day period, it's just been a total buzz. Every bit of material is great. It's now just a case of just hitting it all together. Gregor, that is the 
the ball in. <laughs> <laughs> Location, 4 Kent Road, Bell Cell. <laughs> Lorna, why didn't we think of that? Well, we could do our own version, but we would do it in the Highlands. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!